Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to part 3 in the playthrough of Mafia Definitive Edition. Without further ado, let's just head on right into it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Better get used to it. 1932. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's going to pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holding. That's right. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy. Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Let's teach these punks a lesson. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust these some heads. Showing disrespect. Where's the respect in the city gone, Frank? I got guys calling after Sarah in the street. I got payments drying up from the Corleone. I got Morello taking bites out of our B&A rack. And every time I turn my back, where's it gonna end? Everything is in hand. Everything will be Damn, in he's got troubles. I'll go to Vinny. Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. Something the bus sets. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's wear or else and uh autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean that's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not I won't. Thanks, Vinny. Uh, I ain't in the business of asking questions. Let's go to the garage, get some wheels, and meet Paulie in Chinatown. We're gonna go for the V12 again, because it was just such a lovely drive. Let's go. Radio off, we don't want no copyright claims. Again, the driving is so much better than Mafia 3. Bow 
about time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, uh, he got yellow fever that time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. 1930s Chinatown looks... I mean, it's a good start. Biff, you fat bastard. What are you doing? Chut Mao, no team. You take our money. Put your own money out of your face. Dogface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. No use of fire. So, what's the beef? We need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week, just sit tight. He ain't never getting that money. Never. Yeah, collectible. Let's get it. Damn detective magazine. Happy to murder you. Death is from hunger. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones. Mexican. You're getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Big Break Tobacco. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. No guns. Damn. Telling you the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. Mm. That's right. Come get him! Guys, get in here! Get him! Uh, I'm making you pay! This is why! Get down! Uh, uh, Jesus! Jesus! Uh, 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 no. Yeah, they thought it was over, it's over to it's over. Didn't I just beat you up to come with me with a knife the other night? Come on, let's have it. Ooh, the knife. I'm taking that knife. We gotta teach these punks a lesson. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't let them get Billy. Get your ass behind something! I forgot how to go. You know that? Get your gun, Tom. We made it serious. You think I need talent? I go north, you go south. What? I go up, you go through there. I'm okay, sure! Let's go up. Jeez. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. 
This looks amazing. Oh. That was nice. All right, let's get out of here. Come on, get punks. No health. I need some health for something. Jeez! Oh my God! Wow! Get to that pump for all the other pumps. Take them down. <laughs> I don't need to do that. What kind of aiming reticle is that? Yeah, I need that. Alright. Kicking the door within the four four. They're serious. Put him in the ground. Oh. You started this. Stop us. That was nice. Alright, is there any more guys here? Is there any more Molotovs? Alright, let's get some more Molotovs. Let's get out of here. Never bring a knife to a gunfight, pal. Johnny, get down! Oh, come on, come on! Get out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! Isn't this the same V12? Them. You gotta reload! Shit. As you can tell, oh my god, I'm so bad at this driving. Especially when there's pressure, I can't drive for shit. Go careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't worry, I got this. Lucky I still got two legs to stand on. Gotta reload! They called in the rest of their crew! Ooh. Ooh. This is... Come here. No, you ain't getting away from nothing. Come on, you're better than this! No, he took a full, he said. Jesus, Jesus. I'm reloading! <clears throat> Come oh on, you're God. better than this! You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. Dumb <laughs> son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. 
That's right. So how about when you mess with a girl? No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Wow. This I'm out. This one's finished too. He's gonna have a tough conversation with God. A tough one. <laughs> Oh Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Storm cloud over Chinatown. Chapter complete. On to the next one. Let's go. That was fun as well. A little gunfight. Well, I do have to be careful though because of the classic mode. It's very, it's difficult. But I, I, I like it. I like it. I really like the way they remade the game. They're, those explosions. Wow. That was something different. That was something different. The Saint and the Sinner, 1932 again. Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the court in this office sent this over. The corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. She. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but... He was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam? You're going to attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's going to need a little distraction if he's going to clean up your mess. Are you sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, 
One more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. Let's get it. Come on, let's go. No fedora today. Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, <laughs> Vinny. Drive it again. Don't go any place yet. You gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Well, then Here's a hundred. Really, Give it to her. Have been talking. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. And burning shelter. The operation led by General MacArthur has been condemned in some quarters as She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever going to talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. There has of yet been no comment from the White House or the Army. Here concludes our special report. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Glad he died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. Right, so I'll what do my thing. What kind of world is you it do yours. that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? Wow. First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all born as hell. That's a shame. Seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. It sounds like he's Great lost a lot of friends. Down. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. Now weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. Guy couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Yeah, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too. Where did that... did the cop just disappear? Here's your step. Oh well. I'll give the family your condolences. 
Good luck. You too. Gonna drive to the Corleone Hotel. Corleone is in Don Corleone. Hmm. Hey, hey, you behave yourself in here, okay? Hey, handsome. Hmm. Let me take a look around first. Don't know if you're really my type. You get a room when you get a guy, not before. Ah, <sighs> fine. You know the rules, Daddy. Mm, she don't look too great, Don't I know it? I see a collectible at the back. Downtown 1702. He don't care. He wants you here. I need to take him to a doctor. Is he dying? No, I don't think... Then it don't matter. You need to come in. Leave him with the lady next door if you need to. I can't do that. You're his best girl. And he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys he's getting protection from. It don't matter how sick your kid is. You gotta come in and work. Please. Cover for me somehow. I'm off to kill him. Listen, you wanna go back to the rest of the girls on the corner of Six and Maple? Then be my guest. You told me what it was like. Fur coat and flashing the cars look when there's snow at your feet and you can't feel your legs for the wind and cold. I'm doing you a favor. He's going down. Your kid'll get better. But you're working on the street again, you'll see him worse. Leave him with your neighbor. Get here quick and pray to God he don't notice you late. I'll cover for you, but I can only do it for so long. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> no, leave it to me. Appointment book. Michelle, room 208, all day. Okay, so room 208, I gotta go to. Who's these new guys getting the run of the place? And a manager having to play nice with his new friends. How come? Is when your new friends turn up with Tommy guns? That's what you do. Hmm. So I'm gonna leave out through here. I'm gonna go upstairs. Let's see if I can get me a girl first, though. Let's see what happens. Hey, good afternoon, sir. I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. The friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. Oh, that smell. Blech. You remember when there was money clearing so, the drains? So, I'm gonna have to age on 47 this guy. Hmm. If you want a girl, head back to the bar. They'll come over and uh, keep you entertained. I guess I gotta wait for him to go to the toilet or something. Seems to be more and more cars on the road each year that goes by. I'll go to Michelle quickly and then I'll figure out what to do with him. Hello, 
little bit more. There we are. Corleone Hotel, nice room, splendid furniture, warm welcome, good company. Telephone downtown 1702 to arrange appointment. And again, room 208, Michelle. Okay. Hey! Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> well, <laughs> that was unexpected. Michelle. What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him that I will never open Big my mouth, mouth again. Girls, man. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You scared then? Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in the head. Damn. Do you understand? He ain't playing no games. Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. Michelle, you're in room 208 all day tomorrow with Morello's guys. I'll be downstairs in the lounge sending them up. They get what they want and as much as they want it. You complain, you lose your place. There's plenty more girls like you. Come up to my office on the top floor in that gold negligee. I like so much if you feel like changing my mind. Nasty. People like that who got to take advantage of girls in order to get what they want, they ain't got no game. That's why they got to resort to things like that. Silly people, man. Anyway, we move. Let's kill him. See if there's a way to do this silently. Let him have it. Over here. Wow, that was terrible. I'm out. Cover me. That was terrible. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I'm ready now.
today. Gotta reload. Ooh. That's right. Now I'll take that shotgun. I see him. Can't kill all of us. Flick and steel. Got a ring. Is there another way round? Oh, that's how you swap shoulders. First aid. This shotgun is doing damage. I just need a health pack. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yes. Shot, go! 
get a taste of this! Ooh. So the coast is clear now. Woo! Getting cover. Over here. No, they suck me in. Got a reload. Get a back shot. Go. That's right. See if they got oh, no health. I need health. Hey, you. Oh, I want to know where he is before I start doing anything silly. That's right. Let me reload. Help. I did not know they were. Nope, you are. Oh, I should have blew both of them up. Straight, kneecap gone. Chest gone. Tommy gone. Damn right. Now oh, I just need some health. I just, I just realised on classic mode, if you reload the gun, you lose the. Oh, damn. I just it's don't. not what it looks like. Huh? The hell did I just... You know what, you got your own demons, I'm gonna let you sort it out by yourself. I just need some health. This and... I don't even want to know. I'm getting out of here. That's some... Nah, man. We don't play that. Dear Mr. Morello, the following patrons may be of interest to have their details should you need them. Several city councillors and one congressman, senior officials in the Federal Tax Office, Deputy Director of the Prison Service on Board of Appeals, on Board of Appeals, Prohibition Bureau Chief at the LHPD, that Lost Heavens Police Department. In addition, a number of Salieri Associates are sweet on our girls and fond of pillow talk. We will keep an ear out for your interest. Yours cordially, Howard Davis, manager, Corleone Hotel. So the manager snaked us. The manager gave us up. Money. 
Dear Mr. Coletti, I must apologise for missing our regular appointment last week. I had urgent family matters to attend to at short notice. It is with some regret that I write to confirm the termination of our agreement. Mr. Salieri has been a wonderful business partner over the years. I am most grateful for his support and your wise counsel. Please find with dismissive a return of Mr. Salieri's investment, along with $100 as a gesture of goodwill. Our doors are always open. We remember our friends here at the Corleone. Yours cordially, Howard Davis, manager Corleone Hotel. Never give back money that the Mafia gives to you. They, they're going to kill you anyway. But yeah, it's bomb time. Got the cops here and everything. Jesus. <laughs> yep. Divine intervention, all right. That was nice. Come on, get him. There we go. Now let's move. Suspect is escaping over the rooftops. Let me get out of here. I've got to get out of here. Street level. Thank you. Get up there and bring Ooh. He's up here with us. Jeez. There! On the roof with us. You left some for me? Now you get by, didn't you? Ah. Get him on the reload! Ah. I'm meant to be running from you. Why are you running from me? Get his mouth out of me. Oh, How the hell am I meant to? Oh. Damn. Up here. Still are. He's there. Had enough of this crap. I want everyone we've got on this guy. Get up there and bring him down. Got him. He's up here with us. Alright, but be careful. That's right, right there, like that. That's right. And now we move. probably just going to show you this one because it was the cleanest one but it took me about four or five tries so don't go around thinking I'm any pro but you lot probably already know that already if you're watching we got it! Oh, right through the cheek right through the forehead he's going to have a close casket I hope you lot are seeing that. I hope you lot see that because that is just disgraceful. Oh, collectible.
Must be downstairs. Must be, must be downstairs. Oh, got hop over this. That was a cool gunfight there. I'm not gonna lie, that was cool, man. I just think the health. Obviously, in classic mode, it's a little bit difficult. Just a little bit. Not as bad as the Grand Prix race. Oh, I don't want to about to run up in church. Ah, about to have a shot in church, innit? I can't get my hammer out, so I guess not. Uh, I need to refurbish them stairs as well. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... How? Just how did he end up? Just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy wow. who killed Billy. This, this is crazy. Shoot out in the church. Jesus, what was Billy involved in? Over here. Oh. That's right, like that. You could have stopped all this days ago. His father was here. There, up on the balcony. This is the way this city works. Just to run at him. That's right. Now, I also heard that they made the shooting for Tommy Angelo a lot less like Lincoln Clay's because he's meant to be more of an inexperienced shooter. Whereas Clay was a veteran coming back from the war. You think I'm enjoying this? That's right. Two in his chest. What have you done? Murder in the house of God. These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. 
You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. Ooh! 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 Damn! That's right. Can make us even. Yes, it does, Sam. Um... Sure. That's my For brother. Now. You never leave it, but oh my god. Sorry, they didn't mean to say that in the church. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. Oh, you, you go take theirs. this money. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That's right. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <laughs> when the cops come. You tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Who the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. <laughs> gotcha. Are you kidding? We're not finding nothing, sir. But we got cops everywhere. What's going on? A suspect and accomplice escaping in a hearse. I repeat, a hearse. <laughs> That's right. A hearse. You call us dead men riding. Oh, 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 okay. Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. Or we'll end up in the back. Hey, this ram is helping the town corners so much. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah. It was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. Is there not another way I can go? <clears throat> they giving up yet? Don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. Okay, we lost them. Thank Christ. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Wow. So can I go or... Thank you. I would have went through the roadblock. I just thought that... I just wanted to avoid damage in time and, you know, my health, since this is classic mode. But hey, we move anyway. Forgot to turn the radio off, so copyright claim. I'm gonna have to skip this drive a little bit. Just so I don't get the copyright claim. I don't care. Speeding driver. Pursuit arrest. Bring him in. Officers in Little Italy reporting they've lost sight. If you see him, let me know. Can't catch me. Be advised, roadblock in position. Roadblock for speeding. I'm back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. But when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. All cars 
Don't think about anything. So we was driving around a dead body the whole time. <laughs> that is the chapter to complete the saint and the sinner. Thank you very much for watching again. If you have reached this far, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And